So here we've got a uh, house, it's built in uh, very, very hard engineering brick. Uh, not very permeable, but as you can see we've got a little bit of salt band. Um, I'm sure you've already noticed that um, there are some peculiar looking things sticking out of the wall. Um, what you've got is um, a dense brickwork wall, apparent evidence of perhaps a bit of rising damp or a similar problem that's occurred. And we've got a, a nice salt band, probably about 600 millimetres or so above the ground and just above that we've got a row of um, peculiar pots sticking out which are these natural damp proofing materials um, why you would install them all the way up there above floor level um, I'm not really sure just another windowsill there as you can see um, and here near the corners there you are and then all the way along this property is probably about um, just short of 100 years old um, Rick works in fantastic condition um, it's highly elevated, the living accommodation, probably a metre above the ground. A little bit of salt in around the bottom, there we are. Nothing at all further up, so um, I'm just trying to figure out why we're, uh, why we're damp coursing it. But the big strange thing I'm finding is this brand new extension at the rear. And here we've got a brand new extension, and that too has got this um, natural damp proofing system installed into it. Non-chemical of course, um, probably no need to re-plaster though what plaster's on the inside of a new extension I don't know um, so there you are it's uh, not installed by a chemical damp proofer not installed by a builder probably installed by uh, some specialist or perhaps the architect thought he'd have a play with it with his new extension um, it's a new one on me so if any of you have got any ideas I'd love to know um, what this system's doing why it was installed uh, what its purpose in life is and how all the uh, materials and equipment and labour and transport that's gone into manufacturing and installing it has, uh, has been green in any way at all, taking into account any sustainability uh, ideas. Anyway, answers on a postcard, please, to dry rot. Cheers.